He's a child of the Medina, a famous neighborhood in Dakar, Senegal, where many illustrious political and artistic personalities were born and who have made the entire continent proud. Since I was a child, I felt this was the place for me. I felt an ease there because on the street where I was living, there were two big families of griots. On my way to the Champ de Course school, I would pass Doudoune Daye Rose's house, and so I knew both atmospheres. In this environment, bubbling with cultures of all kinds, artist Mike Silla was born to an artisan goldsmith father and a mother from a big Creole family. When I was young, I'd search for second-hand goods in Colobane, because that's where I'd find real bargain hunters. I liked finding rare items that were different from my culture. That attracted me. Especially with my haircut, I liked to get a look in Dakar that was different from the locals. An artist at heart, Silla is fascinating thanks in part to his interesting life path. From music to design, song and dance, he has dabbled in everything. For him, all artistic expressions that convey a personality and give pleasure to even the hardest hearts have a place in the world. The Bifal are also people who search for originality in their look, in their thoughts, in their solidarity. They're people who are complete universalists, and I'm in Paris because the philosophy there started to call me. I wanted to name it something more original by doing Bifal Dream, which made me actually dream of colors. And because I worked with my father since I was little, in the spirit of fusion, in the spirit of mixing different cultures, for me, I found it a philosophy that was mine. My inspiration comes from Bifal cloth. Everything is in the famous patchwork. Simultaneously, there's a force, there's a fusion, and especially, there's a protective spirit inside. One thing led to another, and by mixing genres and styles, Silla discovered his artistic identity called Bifall Dream, or The Servant's Dream. The clothing label with designs for men and women is inspired by the philosophy of Bifall, a community of Senegalese Rastafarians with a unique life mission to serve their fellow man, as did their spiritual leader, Sheikh Ibra Fall, who, until his death, was the faithful servant to Sheikh Amadou Bamba, the founder of Muridism. Leather is the raw material that lends Silla's work universality and grandeur. Important world political and artistic personalities wear Bifal Dream with pride. I want to put man in the center of my creation. In other words, I never wanted to do cheap fashion or fashion that would become untrendy. My fashion is timeless. There's a certain openness there that brings us towards the universal. So African fashion is seen as richer, more accessible too, because it's pointless to create fashion if it's only Africans who wear it. I want to be light. I want my culture to be fluid. Silla continues to live his dream of colors through his one-of-a-kind clothes and accessories crafted with generosity by master hands. That's also the originality and elegance of the label by Fall Dream. Yeah.